been a while since I've made a video and I wanted to pick a photo that was, you know, technically much better looking and um, more pleasing to look at. But today this photo came up in my files. I wasn't seeking it out. In fact, I'd forgotten about it, but it, it just seemed kind of relevant for today, which is um, August 9th, 2022. Yesterday, of course, um, was a day that is you know, possibly will go down in history. Um, Donald Trump's house or his golf course, whatever it's called, Mar-a-Lago down in Florida, was raided by the FBI. And this is kind of the culmination of years of political polarization in our country. And it, it's, it's, it, it's really uh, going to be something that people are going to talk about for a long time, no matter if Trump is charged with anything related to the January 6th riots or, you know, allegedly disposing of classified material from his time in the White House. This photo is interesting to me because I took it in July 2016. My wife and I were on a trip to beautiful Letchworth State Park, which deserves the video itself. Um, then we went to Niagara Falls and then on to Toronto and back home to our home in eastern New York. Um, but I, I took this photo in a rest stop or a coffee shop somewhere um, while we were on our way to Buffalo. I think we spent a night in Buffalo. I didn't think anything of this photo. It's of um, James Comey, who was the FBI director in under President Obama and then for a little while under Trump. And on his left here on the left part of the picture, I think this was Nia Love. She was a congresswoman from Utah, a Republican, and she's asking Comey questions at a House Oversight Committee or something like that. And this was related to Hillary Clinton uh, basically skating on criminal charges related to her uh, erasing like something like 30,000 emails from when she was Secretary of State. and. I, I was I'm not I was not a, a big Donald Trump fan before he was president. I, I, I warmed up to him a little bit more during his presidency, more because of what he did rather than who he is. Um, but I, I just remember just knowing how sleazy the Clintons were and just not being surprised that she would skate by on, um, you know, being charged, you know, you know, over these emails. Of course, that heated up as the campaign went along because like a week before her election, James Comey kind of like backpedaled a little bit and released, you know, uh, like a information about a laptop that she might've had emails on that um, had belonged to one of her staff members. And it's just really salacious stuff. But, um, you know, the whole thing that I, I find just so, strange it's just we're kind of lingering we're, we're, we're stuck in this country right now we're, we're, we're stuck and it looks like we're kind of falling apart at the seams like we can't get over this uh, red and, and blue binary this this um, Trump and, and Clinton or Trump and Biden binary and it's destroying our country and I, I'm, a, I'm a Republican now. I was a Democrat for years, but I'd love to throw, you know, just the kitchen sink at Democrats, but there's no point in that anymore because I'm sure there's things that Democrats could bring up that Republicans do that drives them nuts. But we, we just have, we've gone now just so far down the path of destruction. You know, um, I don't think we're ever going to be able to return to a time where red and blue weren't like an identity where they weren't like a marker of who you are. And again, th there's something technically proficient about this photo or, uh, you know, the, the, the other photo that I posted, it, it's just like probably just taking a picture at a moment of time. And maybe Comey made the right decision in not, um, you know, charging Hillary Clinton. Maybe, maybe, maybe that was a good thing. I don't know. Uh, it, it sounds though like, Part of his decision was he didn't want to upset an election. Well, he it didn't matter because four years later, the FBI really dropped the ball on um, investigating the contents of the now president's son, Hunter Biden, of his laptop that he had left at a, at a repair shop. I don't know. And people are seeing politically two, two 
tiers of justice, um, one that exculpates people on, I guess you'd say the establishment left, um, and one that focuses attentions on people on the right or people who have traditional views, you know, even like parents at school board meetings. And it, it's, it's disturbing. And I think we might be crossing uh, a time or crossing like a, a point of no return in our country. So that's why I wanted to share this photograph with you, not, not because of anything technical about it. Anyways, um, thanks for looking at this photo. And I, I hope you're well. Stay safe. God bless.